You are knowing what you are wanting. Well, you come for some clarification on some things and for some contribution on some things and for some fun. Come to remember more clearly who you are, to participate in conversation with the intention of coming into closer resonance with the whole of who you are to witness law of attraction then responding to the new set point that you possibly achieve and to have a spotlight shined a bit on where you are because when you play with us in this way and we collectively come into fuller resonance with the whole of that which we all are then if you're not quite up to speed with that you really feel it and if you are quite up to speed with that you really feel it in other words there's nothing better than deliberately focusing and paying attention to your personal vibrational frequency mm. you know you have a vibrational frequency yes you know that it equals your point of attraction mm. once you understand that then your deliberate creation can begin and until you understand that then things are just happening and you're observing them and responding to them and compounding the vibrational frequency of them by your observation of them but you have little control but once you really understand that you are a vibrational being first and foremost and that everything that you experience is a byproduct of that frequency then you're off and rolling into deliberate creating. Also, it's helpful when you realize that you are more than this physical being. This physical you and this consciousness that is you, this personality, this focuser that is you. This point of attraction that is you is significant, but only part of who you are. The other part of who you are, who is always focusing with you, to you and through you, is sometimes not allowed by you. Only because in this physical body, with this physical thought, in this physical moment, you are choosing a thought and therefore a frequency that may or may not be allowing your realization of that larger part of you and unless you're realizing it then as far as you're concerned it isn't happening we're going to be talking today about anything that you want and don't worry about us we'll wedge our message in a crack but the message that we will be wedging in the crack is about your point of attraction we're calling that your grid, where you stand, what's going on with you vibrationally, and all that that vibration is therefore allowing here and now. And the vibration of the source within you, the larger part of you. And so we always like to get this ball rolling by reminding you that you were source energy before you came into this body, and that you still are. And that while you're in this physical body, you, whether you know it or not, have a relationship between that larger part of you who still exists and broadcasts from a non-physical perspective and yourself who is here in this physical body broadcasting from a physical perspective in other words there are two potential frequencies happening because you exist 
two frequencies when those frequencies align that's what we call resonance or allowing you feel wonderful your emotions tell you about this alignment or this misalignment when the frequency of you doesn't measure up or match to the frequency that is being broadcast from the source within you then you feel something that you would describe more like negative emotion so your emotions are always your indicator of your resonance your allowing your harmony your alignment sometimes as physical beings you forget about that because you are so good at your physical perspective your physical perspective is one of seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching you have all of these physical senses that we like to explain to you are physical interpreters of vibration but whatever you want to call them you have a perspective of your physical life experience and everything that you are experiencing is because of your interpretation your vibrational interpretation sometimes you don't really realize that you're doing it because you were born doing it and so many others around you are doing it and so for most people your life becomes one of comparing those perceptions I see it this way how do you see it I hear it this way how do you hear it it smells like this to me how does it smell to you and so as you are comparing your physical interpretations you are living an interesting life experience but there is another comparison that we are really wanting to awaken within you and activate within you and we would like it to become your most dominant interest and that is the comparison between the frequency that you are broadcasting because of what you are giving your attention to and the frequency that the source within you is broadcasting about the same subject and it's important for you to understand that that source perspective is there with you and for you all of the time there's never a moment in time that that is not happening so in brief explanation we know that many of you have been listening to us for a while you've been hearing us say this so well that you could say it and so we're going to say it really fast you were source energy before you came into this physical body and that larger part of you that is source energy still exists as source energy but a part of that source energy came into the physical being that is you and here you are exploring knowing what you don't want knowing what you do want knowing what you don't want knowing what you do want and whenever you know what you don't want you send a rocket of desire about what you do want is this too fast or do you already know this so you're sending this rocket of desire about what you do want and this rocket of desire that emanates from you all day every day this clarifying rocket of desire coming out of the contrast or the comparison of life that you are living this rocket of desire is creating a momentum remember that word it's going to be big today a momentum a momentum that causes your vortex of creation the vibrational version of you to expand now did you follow us so far that vibrational version of you is constantly expanding because of the contrast that you are living you're constantly molding yourself into greater specifics into greater clarification into greater preferences into greater becoming into greater evolution you as a being you as a personal important being are evolving constantly so this contrast causes you to expand or evolve and the larger part of you keeps up with that expansion and holds that furthermost vibrational set point as a constant for you to measure where you stand in your perceiving as compared to that perception of expansion you like that we really do we really like you having this guiding vibration this guiding light this vibration that is the fullest culmination of that which you are so now as you're moving through your moment in time and your thoughts are moving from subject to subject you may be choosing thoughts that are of lower frequency than that and when you do the emotion that you feel is one of discord you would call it frustration or you would call it anger or you would call it depression you would call it something that when you say it you mean I don't feel as good as I have sometimes felt and more important I don't feel as good as I want to feel and the reason that you don't feel as good as you want to feel is because life your life 
caused you to move to an expanded frequency that you are right now not maintaining and that's all right it's all part of the experience of physical life you are pioneers out here on the leading edge exploring the variety and the contrast so in that exploration you do something really important in the deliberate creative process you take a step one which is you ask for something you ask for something and often what you are asking for is something that from your perspective from your snapshot moment in time you don't have you ask for more money or you ask for someone to understand you more clearly or you ask to feel better or you ask for some expansion in some way in your experience you ask for something that you believe you don't have and the operative word here is believe you don't have because a belief is just a thought you keep thinking so you're asking for something that is different from the thought that you've been commonly thinking well because law of attraction is responding to your frequency your beliefs matter a lot so when you say I want more money but I don't believe it's going to come to me anytime soon that belief whether you say the word I don't believe or not the belief or the habit of thought that you've got going on is offering a frequency that equals your point of attraction so when you ask for something that you are vibrationally opposing you feel the discord in your physical body we're going to be talking all day today in the hours that we are together about what to do about that feeling of discord we want to help you to understand that you can and we're not kidding you even a little bit you can be or do or have anything that this time space reality helps you to identify that you would like in other words if a desire is born within you then that desire has been born within us and when that desire is born within the source within you there is a vibrational frequency that is then achieved about that desire that you have given birth to that means when you find resonance with that desire it will be it must be realized in your experience but when you give birth to a desire that you are defying with a belief then that means your belief which is the thought that you keep thinking is introducing continuing to introduce a steady chronic vibration that opposes the desire you sort of following this so you want something that you're broadcasting differently about now many of our human friends say well no problem I'll just stop wanting it because when I want something I don't believe there's a discord that is uncomfortable and we say you cannot pull back from expansion once life has caused you to expand and once the source within you has taken that vibrational frequency and is holding it then you only have one option if you are to feel normal again if you are to feel good again and that is you've got to go with the flow of your own expansion and anytime you feel negative emotion what it is telling you primarily is you're not right now not now going with the flow of your expansion and we're here to say to you and the reason that you're not easily and it's okay in fact it's normal we're going to explain to you how come you're not going with the flow of your expansion is because you've got a pattern or a habit of belief a habit of thought a habitual vibration going on that you can't just change all of a sudden and the reason that you can't change it all of a sudden is because law of attraction won't let you do it law of attraction says oh this is the thought you're thinking here's another thought just like it and you say oh yeah that thought is just like it I think I'll think about that thought too and then law of attraction said well since you like those thoughts here are more here are a whole lot more just like it and you say mm, yeah I feel the resonance of that there's something that feels awfully familiar here I think I'll just stay right here on these familiar thoughts because to change the thought would take focus that I'm not ready for this focus is easy because there's a momentum in this focus 
there's that word again momentum <laughs> 